welcome back my peeps to another tutorial this one should be fun um i think it's since you know it's almost thanksgiving that we could do something cute and fun so we're gonna make some thanksgiving dinner cupcakes or thanksgiving leftover cupcakes whatever you want to call them but we gonna make some of those i already made my turkey you see my turkey now i'm gonna show y'all how to make the turkey too so we're gonna make a turkey we're gonna make mashed potatoes green bean casserole and a pumpkin pie i have not made them yet we're gonna make it right now together so let's pray that everything goes well so here we go we're going to start with the, uh, I'm going to show y'all how to make the turkey. Ain't it cute? It's going to go on top of a cupcake. Maybe I should have did the liners first and then made the, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So, I'm going to, um, Make my cupcakes first so I can put everything on top of it, right? So I got these silver liners. Yeah, I got silver because you know what? After all that cooking, ain't nobody got time for all that other stuff. So we're going to put it all in the uh, yeah, aluminum pans. So this is to simulate an aluminum pan. Because, you know, you you tired of cooking. You're just going to put it in an aluminum pan. Or it could be also for your takeout to go plate. Whatever you want it to be. That's what it is. But I thought I would use um a silver liner just because I thought it was cute. Well, how many? Girl, what in the world? Hold on. Am I only putting one? Yeah, these are all one. Yeah, okay. So, I'm going to use these foam cupcake dummies. I'll leave a link down below. Um, you can get them from Annie's Treasure LLC on Etsy. Or, I made videos before where you can make your own with plaster of Paris. Only thing is that it's a little heavy. And I know some people use um, gaps and cracks to make their cupcakes. I'm just going to use this because it makes my life easier and I can move on to the next step pretty simply. Okay, so you're just going to put some glue on it and pop that bad boy. Wait, I did it wrong. Put it in the cupcake. Then you pop it in there so it can form perfectly to the cupcake. So these are like traditional foods well it's not traditional to me because i'm puerto rican we don't eat green bean casserole and um i don't think we too crazy about pumpkin pie and uh we do eat the turkey but we really don't have mashed potatoes at our um dinners i mean we could but generally and we don't have any of this stuff just maybe the turkey what we do have is arroz con gandules you gotta have pepernin pateles uh for like dessert they have um what do we have for dessert flan and stuff like that is not this traditional stuff that I'm making here today, but honestly, I don't know how to do flan. Well, I did make a flan, but I don't know how to fake bake no ajo con gandule and none of that just yet. <laughs> well, I haven't tried, but give me time. I'll get y'all some ajo con gandule um, and all the other stuff like I... <laughs> I can't fake bake that. So I'm going to just fake bake a traditional American Thanksgiving. Because, you know, why not? 
Now let's see, cause this is acting. Oh man, I should have just did it in the um in the aluminum. Why did I not think of that? All right, let's start. Let's try to see. Don't make the same mistake I did. So you're gonna have to take this part off and just put it in this part. I didn't think about that. You know, cause like when you bake a cupcake, it just kind of, the cupcake sticks to the liner. Well, I didn't think about that. So let's try this again, right? So yeah, we don't, it's very rare that we'll have some like all this traditional stuff. I'm not saying that we wouldn't eat it, but that's not, that's not what, you know, our traditional foods are for like Thanksgiving. And to tell you the truth, we eat the same thing for Thanksgiving, that we eat the same thing for Christmas, that we're going to eat for New Year's too, probably. I mean, you could add your own little spin on it. Some people make, um, like we'll make a lasagna or something, or what's called a batelon. Is made with it's a lasagna, right? But it's made with um, with instead of a, a, a lasagna sheets, you know, pasta, we make it with plantains. And let me tell y'all, that stuff is so good. So yeah, we, you know, we we do a little different. We do stuff a little different. But, and you know, my daughter, she's like, <laughs> you know, we have macaroni and cheese and um, potato salad and stuff like that. But uh, my daughter's like, well, why we got to eat this every holiday? I said, girl, it's tradition. You know, these young kids, they don't understand. They're like, do we have to eat this? I'm like, uh, you eat that or you can eat nothing. Like, whatever, you pay, you have a choice. Every once in a while, I like to have me some turkey with some cranberry sauce and mashed potatoes. So, sometimes I do make some mashed potatoes. But that's me. Like, if you go to a Puerto Rican house for dinner on Thanksgiving, you ain't going to probably get that. If you're, not, if you're not Puerto Rican, I'm saying. If your Puerto Rican friend invites you over for Thanksgiving... Don't get me wrong, it's going to taste good and flavorful, and you're going to be like, dang, I need to eat this again, but it's not traditional. But you know what? I'm proud of it. It's cool. If you ain't never had a hoko gandula, you in for a treat. Plain rice and beans ain't going to do it for you no more once you eat those. All right. So, see? <sighs> Finally... You got to take out the liner. If you decide to go with this, you could use a uh, regular fall cupcake liners. Whatever liners you have, white ones, whatever you have. I'm just trying to make it look like a takeout tray or aluminum pan because, you know, I'm, I'm crazy like that. Right? So, there you go. We got our cupcake liners ready. Gonna put this to the side because we do not need that anymore. So we're gonna make our turkey first. I'm gonna show you how to make the turkey. <sighs> Clean up this mess a little bit. So you're gonna get you some. You know I love my parchment paper. You could use the uh, painters stir sticks if you want to. You don't need to, but I'm gonna use it just so you guys can see. So, I I used, this is called uh, Model Magic. This color is called Earth Tone. And I when I got it, I used, like, I wanted to make one. So, I used this straight, the color that it came in from Model Magic. But I did mix some up with a little bit of white. I don't even know if it really makes much of a difference. <laughs> it didn't, I don't think it made much of a difference. But I'm going to, um... I don't know. I'm trying to make it look more chickeny. But really, it's just more like a caramel color. But 
I couldn't get the caramel color. I didn't try hard enough because I'm sure if I did. Like, if it, it could be, like, a little bit more of this color. So, it could be, like, um, you know, look more like a turkey. But, oh, well, I didn't do that. But you guys can do it. And uh, I'm just going to show you how to do it. And you do what you can when, when you get your turkey. I mean, when you're making your turkey. Hold on, I can't work with all this mess around ripped up paper so what you're gonna need you're gonna get you um i bought these foam balls from dollar tree i forgot what size is it but this look like a three inch it, there's three in a pack you're gonna get one and you're gonna cut it in half i showed y'all how to cut this in half several times make sure you stretch out your model magic so it's nice and pliable and soft and you can work easily with it model magic needs to be conditioned you need to knead it and make it nice and soft so i'm gonna put that down and you're gonna roll it out you need to get so this is the, another thing i was going to show you you need your cookie cutter to go around well not really the cupcake but around this circle because if you just make it if you don't use a, a, a cookie cutter that's round enough it's not going to lay over it you're not going to be able to get it to do this lay around the edges because you need it to be bigger than the size of the fo your foam ball okay so make sure you roll it out good right get your circle cut that out and I know you're gonna ask me you guys are gonna ask me about this cookie cutter this cookie cutter is a cake boss cookie cutter is no longer available to purchase but you don't need to use those cookie, cook, uh, cookie cutters you can use whatever cookie cutters you have. And Amazon, they have what's called cookie cutter sets where it has circles in different order um different order in different sizes. So you can uh get that. I'll leave a link down below if you want to purchase. So you're gonna take your circle and you're just gonna press it down. Make sure you get good coverage. See how it covers. Like basically most of the foam ball, you want to get it down to the edge, right? Just make sure you get it down to the edge, and there you go, it's covered. Now, if you want, get your scissor and just cut, cut around that edge, so you won't have so much left over, right? Eh. Only thing I hate about Model Magic is if it touches another piece of Model Magic before it's dry, it will it will stick to it. All right, so there you go. You got your turkey, the body of your turkey. So if you wanted to like give it dents and stuff, like make like the skin look more ripply, you could take another piece of foam ball and look. Just do like that. And it gives it, where am I? It gives it that texture. You see that texture? You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Because your turkey don't need to have no texture. Right? So now we're going to make the legs and the arms. This is the fun part. And it's so easy. You will have no trouble so you're gonna take you some piece of model magic the leftover piece that you cut off you're gonna take it and break that in half right you're gonna get your piece and break that in half then you're gonna take another piece and break that in half and now we're gonna do the the wings we are going to do the wings first you're gonna roll out your clay. 
and then you're gonna take that clay and you're gonna cut it in half. Right? You don't need a scissor, you can just rip it if you want. And you're gonna take it and you're gonna take it in your hand and you're gonna like you're gonna make the top part. Wait, I made a I made a leg there. <laughs> we don't want a leg. We want the wing. So you're gonna take the wing. You see how I'm rolling it? You roll the edge and you get this. And you're gonna take that and you're just gonna bend it. And that's your wing. I probably could have made it bigger, but you see that? Now you got a wing. You're gonna do the same thing for the other side. It's gonna roll it into a ball and you're gonna start rolling on the edge. So you get this part, so you can make the wing. And you're just gonna bend it, and you're gonna put it on there. Now you got your wings. That's pretty easy. So we're gonna take, and we're gonna do our legs now. Just take your ball, rip it in half. You're gonna roll it into a ball again, but this time, you're gonna really define the drumstick part. So you kind of want to make it more thin at the bottom so it can look like a drumstick. Then you're just going to take it and you're just going to, you see that? Right? You're going to do that again. You're going to define the circle and you're just going to, you want this leg part to be thin. Because you want it to look like a drumstick. Right? And you're going to take it and you're going to put it right there. And voila. Oh, one more thing. You want to make that line in the middle. Like chickens and turkeys have. You're not going to go all the way up. You're just going to do it right there. Right. And there goes your turkey. Boom. Now, if you want to put more texture on it, you can. That is up to you. Put texture on the wings, on the legs. That is totally up to you. But there go your turkey. And then we're going to put that turkey right on top. I might put some green around it or something. I don't have... I, didn't, I wasn't thinking about, uh, I didn't think that it wasn't going to fit, like, perfectly on there, you know, without showing that part. But, towards the end, if I have a chance, I will put some green around it and make it look like it has berries and stuff. Alright, we'll, we'll come back to that. So, the next thing we're going to make <clears throat> is a green bean casserole. Let me get out my piping bag <clears throat> you don't need a tip for this because we're going to use this same bag to make the mashed potato so you don't need a, um you don't need a uh you don't need a piping bag i mean a tip not a so you gotta just oh maybe I should have put some color in this right but oh, I think I have some from the last thing we did yeah I think I'll use this one instead of pure white Where's my lid? I'm gonna use this one because it has a little bit of little bit of color in it. You can't pop, you can't really tell on this camera, but I'm gonna use this. So just put it in your bag. Let's get it all out. You know. 
was about to buy me some tobacco, but God, these prices are incredible, like ridiculous. Like I would, I had bought tobacco. It was like eighteen dollars for the gallon. I like the Red Devil brand, but even that, because when I went to Lowe's the other day, I was like, what? is going on here it was like $25 a gallon and red devil was 26 something a gallon i was like i walked out <laughs> i was like i gotta find a cheaper something cheaper than that because for a gallon that's a lot of money anyways so i'm just gonna cut my tip and let's see how this green bean, green bean casserole is gonna come out okay i didn't tell you about how i made oh boy so what i did was right i didn't did i bring the green i did not bring the green so i made green beans cut green beans okay. so i rolled out all you do is roll out some green clay and make a, a line in the middle with like a toothpick or something. And that's your green beans, okay? Sorry I didn't bring the green the green clay, but this is pretty easy. And another thing, I know that green bean casserole had, well, it's made a couple of ways. Some people put almonds on their green beans. I don't like green beans, and I don't think I would like them with almonds, but that's just me. And then some people put... The fried onions that come in a can. I don't know because I never had green bean casserole. But anyway, I'm going to use this. Uh, this corn cob bedding. To simulate like almonds or onions, fried onions. I did make some sprinkles one time and I burnt them. So I might use that as my green bean as my onions and i do have a couple of strips here i don't know let's see how it goes so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just put some now you don't even need a thick layer or anything just a pretty thin layer it's just to simulate green bean casserole and then we're gonna let this sit for a minute because once you let it sit for a minute then you could go back and touch it and fix it up and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do the same thing with the mashed potatoes let's get to the mashed potatoes as a matter of fact so the mashed potatoes well it's just gonna be you know this and we're gonna we're gonna build this up a little bit though because we want to have I just want to get to the edge. Right? And we're going to come back to that too. We're just going to let it dry a little bit so we can touch it. Oh, well, this one is... I could touch it already. So you're just going to, like, pat it down. You know, you want to take those lines off. Just let your uh spackle dry for a minute because this stuff get dry pretty fast right and then you're just gonna put your um your green beans on it let me get me a wet wipe can wipe my hands then you're just gonna put your green beans on there anyway anyhow Like I said, I ain't never had no green beans. Who loves green bean salad? Let me know down below. Who makes it? Who loves it? Is it a tradition in your family? Yeah, nah. I could talk about a green plantain. Can't talk to you about no green beans. I mean, I'm not saying that we don't eat them, but it's not traditional for our Thanksgiving. Just keep going around. Tap it down.
let's see if we can add one more here. And one more right here. And there go your green beans, right? I think I'm going to just put the corn cob, Betty. You guys know what's up. Throw some corn cob bedding in there. Tell me what what you having for Thanksgiving. If you're not American, like what do you have for your um Thanksgiving meals? I mean, I was born and raised in America. Don't get me wrong. But my mom and dad were born and raised in Puerto Rico. I lived in America all my life. Even though Puerto Rico is part of America. So don't get that twisted. But like I said, we have our own. See that? Now you got a green bean casserole. So the green bean casserole is done. But I'm going to put a little bit more around here. It's so hard when it gets dry because stuff just pop off of it. Anyways, if you wanted to, when it dries, you can put some Mod Podge and you can sprinkle some more on top. But for now, that's our green bean casserole. Now we're going to come back. and Let me close this up before I spill it. Because you know me. I will spill it. Okay. So now we're going to come back to our mashed potatoes. Now that it's dry a little bit, you can pat it down and make it into a mound. Because, you know, you don't eat no flat mashed potatoes. You want a mound of mashed potatoes. So you just tap it. This is cool. Like, you can form it into whatever you want. Right? Let's move all this stuff out of here. Like cleaning with a clean area. So just take the top and make like a little indent. Because that's where your gravy is going to go. Right? Do you want a pat of butter and gravy? I think we should make a little pat of butter. So, right? There go your mashed potatoes. It got a little, uh, what you call that in the middle? Like a crevice or, it's not a crevice. You know what I'm saying? So, you could drop your, your gravy up in there. We're going to make some gravy right in there. And some butter for your mashed potatoes, right? Oh, God, this video is going to take a little bit longer than I planned, but, you know, it is what it is, right? All right. So, we're going to get, what you're going to need is, dang it, I forgot the cork. <sighs> Hold on, let me go get some cork real quick. Alright, so you're going to need a little bit of cork. Let's move this over here. You're going to need a little bit of cork. Because cork makes it like a little thicker, right? Just a tad, not a lot. And then you're going to put, we're going to make brown gravy for our mashed potatoes. You're going to use, I'm using Matt Mod Pod. Just need a drop. You don't need a lot. Oh, I need to clean the top of that because it don't close. I'm using nutmeg brown. For our brown gravy on our mashed potatoes, right? So then you're going to take that. You're going to stir it up. You're going to get you a little sandwich bag. Because you don't need a, a, what you call that? A pastry bag or anything like that. You just... So you're going to mix it up. And there goes your brown gravy. Right? But before we do that, let's let that sit for a minute. Let's make a pat of butter. I don't know if it's necessary, but we're going to do it. Because we have to. Pretty, pretty easy. You know? Just make sure you massage your... 
And I know this yellow is too bright, but that's okay. Cause you know what? This is fake baking. So it's fake. It's not supposed to really look like the real thing. I mean, you you know you want it to look as close to the real thing. Take your scissor, cut out a pack of butter. Maybe smaller than that. I think we need this big old pack of butter. All right, I think this is a good size. Round out the edges a little bit. You got a pat of butter, right? So now we're gonna go back to that brown gravy. And we gonna um, put it in there. We're gonna put the pat of butter on top of, on top of the uh, mashed potatoes. It probably could have been darker the gravy, but you know what, guys? You guys, I get like I always say. Look, I give you the idea. You take it to the next level, okay? Put it in your bag, tie it up, and remember, you cut the tiniest hole possible. When you do this, the tiniest, I'm talking about tiniest hole. Because that's how you get control over this. Because this is pretty runny, so. So we're going to put some in the middle, right? Of course, we're going to make some of the gravy. But for the most part, we just want the gravy on top. Right? If you wanted to move it around, you could get a stick, like a toothpick or something. And move it around. If you wanted to, make sure you get it in those corners. Got a lot of air bubbles, but let that go down. That was a little long. Right? Got your gravy. And then you put your pat of butter on it. <laughs> there go your mashed potatoes. So now you got your green bean casserole, your mashed potatoes. You got your turkey. Now it's time for... The pumpkin pie, which I got my orange clay here. I'm just going to get a little piece. I didn't bring my cookie cutters with me, but that's okay. we just going to uh, use what we have. So you got your orange clay. And we're going to use some of the brown we used to make that turkey as the crust okay and i'm gonna i thought i had some green um some green uh spackle which you know i didn't bring with me well anyway i still need this so stretch out your model magic because you don't want it to crack you want it to be nice, just roll it out. And then I'm trying to see if I let's just let's just get a um something just cut this out because I didn't bring my cookie cutters with. This is not going to work out. Let me just do this. See, you got to improvise sometimes. Improvise. Uh-oh. Uh, 
Oh, this is not working out. Hold on, let me go grab my cookie cutter. Got my cookie cutters. Grab the spackle while I was on my way over there. So, let's try this again. I'm gonna roll out your pumpkin pie filling. So now let me see which one of these cookie cutters is the size. Yep, this is good because if I use another size, it'll be too big. All right, now you're gonna take your, I'm gonna just put like a little dab of glue on there. Right? And just pat it down. You don't have to worry about the edges because we're gonna put a crust on there anyway, so it doesn't matter really. But if you wanted to put like cake um, slices in it, like you could do this, just go like this and I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm just taking this and making slices before I put the crust on. Right, you see that? Then you're going to get a piece of your brown clay. You can make it lighter than this if you want. I'm not, I mean, I should because. Do I got white? Let me just mix it up a little bit of white with this crust. So far, everything is looking good. All right, I don't need this anymore. Take this away, take this away, take this away. This. So you guys can see how your Thanksgiving dinner is going here. Let me just mix this up a little bit so I can get like a, a lighter color uh, crust. Because I don't really want it to be that dark. And I'm going to put some. You know how they put the turkey on a platter and it has like... um lettuce or whatever to like to make it like you know the presentation looks nice we gonna do that just because i need to fill up that crack okay so here goes the color it's a bit less darker not much but hold on because i don't want none of this in my see i always think i don't need stuff and then i go right back and reach for it right <laughs> We don't need all of this. I know that for a fact. You're going to roll it out. You know, you're going to roll a snake. Roll you out a snake. When you think it's round enough, long, round enough, long enough to go around that pumpkin pie. And then you're going to put, you know, I'm not good at no crust. So we're going to see how this turns out. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're just going to do what we do, right? All right. Let's see. Is it long enough to go around? Not quite yet. It's always good to make it an extra long. Because, you know, once that Model Magic touches Model Magic, that is it. All right, let's go. So you're just gonna put it around the edge of your pumpkin, right? And you're gonna cut that off right there. And then you're gonna try to, you know, make it round. Bring it down so it covers your cupcake. You know, between the cupcake and the... So now this is the part where you know I ain't no good at this stuff. 
so if you know how to make pies maybe we could just just dent it up like this you see that just use your finger it looks good get your pie your pie your crust on boom i think it looks good just gotta make sure you cover your um you know make sure you don't see none of the white part but look at that crust look at that pie so then you know you gotta put a dab of um a dab of uh whipped cream so i'm gonna put a dab should i just you know what y'all i'm not gonna uh, do another bag i'm gonna just put a little dab right here but there you go if you want it you could throw a little bit of cinnamon on there you know but there you go your pumpkin pie now we're gonna work on this turkey you know, glue it down a little bit. Glue him down. Make sure I get it centered. And we're going to let that dry for a minute. Let that, let that um, glue set. Oh, gosh. People always want to be texting. I don't be doing that all day long. Nobody bothers me. As soon as I start doing something. Right? So I got my green. And it's probably dried. Um, <clears throat> but. What I'm going to do is. I'm going to get me a small tip. Because. These large tips are not going to work there. Is that good? I just need to fill in a little bit with um, <clears throat> some green to make it look like lettuce leaf or whatever. Like it's on a serving platter or something. So, let's see how this is. I haven't used this in a while. But I think it's pretty good. You know what? I should have used the... Um, yeah, let's just keep it like that. Where is that? Uh, oh, let's get another pastry bag put this tip in here wish I had um hold on. All right, I'm gonna use some of the berries I have from like from my Christmas garland to put on him that's more than enough I don't know why I put more <laughs> but keep our turkey there yeah, so I'm just gonna go around it because it has this gap here and I'm not really crazy about that <clears throat> excuse me oh my god so I'm going to cut this tip off I used um, well, it don't have a number on it but it's like a star tip but it's just a small one there's my bites because I can't be having all this so, I'm going to start in the back. Just want to do it very softly and lightly. Not too much pressure. Right? And then we're going to take him and we're going to put a couple of berries on it to look just like a 
like if he was um we just gonna put like some berries on the side right here like he's on a serving tray i mean you could put other stuff if you want but that's our turkey y'all i think we done guys we have your turkey isn't that cute you got your mashed potatoes your green bean casserole and to finish it off we got pumpkin pie so guys let me know down below if this is your traditional break breakfast if this is your traditional thanksgiving or if it's not what do you have for thanksgiving i already told you guys what i have for thanksgiving as a puerto rican it's definitely not any of this stuff. It might be just the turkey. That's it. But until the next time, stay safe, healthy, and crafty. God bless you guys. Bye.